They stretch. They smell tasty. They don't stick to your hands. They are perfect to prank your friends with. They are awesome edible slimes. Redhead eats M&Ms. Excellent! It's exactly what I need for my new slime. I just need a few candies and it's done. Melt gummy bears in a microwave. Add a few drops of yellow food coloring. Add equal amounts of starch and powdered sugar. Mix the slime until it stops sticking to your hands. Paint a plastic bucket with yellow spray enamel. Attach a picture of a yellow M&M's candy to the lid. Put in the slime and add a few candies. Redhead is bewildered. What are you doing? But she forgets about her candies as soon as she sees what I take out of my bucket. It's awesome m and m slime. You can stretch it out in different directions. But that's not all. It's edible too. Help yourself. Watching a movie with a friend is way more interesting. There is a movie called Slime Invasion. The universe is in danger. It is really thrilling. It's so great that we've got a big McFlurry slime. Take it in your hands and calm down. Wrap a blue foam rubber sheet around a big popcorn cup. Trim the edges. Attach a printed out McFlurry label. Melt marshmallows and put in equal amounts of starch and powdered sugar. Make the needed amount of slime. Put it into the cup and decorate it with colored Skittles candies on top. It turns out that it's not a thriller, it's a comedy. We are having so much fun and the time flies so fast with the McFlurry slime. Mmm, it's so sweet. Daisy snatches a big piece. Share with me, you greedy guts! It's a pity that the edible slime finishes before the movie does. Now I will have to be hungry until the end of the film. Redhead arranges fishing right in the house. Where is she going to fish? In a sink? No, in a home fish tank made out of clear slime. Gummy banana fish is her first catch. It tastes great! Let's make clear edible slime. Add two cups of water to one cup of tapioca starch. Mix it and put it in a microwave. Take it out each 15 seconds and stir. Check it until the slime thickens and turns transparent. The melted tapioca is tacky. This is why we add some water and it stops being tacky at once. Put the slime into a big clear jar. The transparent slime stretches out nicely. You can spread it over the sides of the jar easily. Create an effect of a fish tank filled with water. Attach gummy fish to the slime. While Redhead is deep into her fishing, I take all the tacky water out of the fish tank. It can stretch out perfectly. Have I become an empress of water? But the clear slime doesn't taste so good. Gummy fish is way more delicious, so we do not recommend drinking the water out of the fish tank. But you can play with it as much as you want. Selfie o'clock. Let's take a photo with our flower. It looks great from any angle. It's certainly magical. Oops, there's a squirrel over there. We want to take a picture of it while it's still there. But while we are chasing the squirrel, the magic flower comes up with something. It starts trembling. It obviously generates the magic. A few moments and there is a huge hubba bubba on the bench. Spray paint a big plastic lid of a cake box. Attach a big hubba bubba label on top. Make two identical details. Add a few drops of food coloring into white sugar paste. Roll out the colored sugar paste and cut it to be of the same size as a cardboard tube. Wind the sugar paste around the tube. Turn over the lid. Insert a strip of thick paper along the perimeter. Put in a cardboard bottom. Make a cut in the border. 
Put the second lid on top and make the same cut in it. Place the sugar paste roll in the lid and insert the end of the paste strip into the slit. Tape the lids. What is that under the flower? There's a huge bubble gum. It's enormous. How has it gotten here? The flower just got bored and wanted to have fun. A giant hubba bubba is exactly what we need. We can definitely treat all of our friends to it. My friend has a real sweet tooth. She has a whole collection of candies, but she doesn't share her sweets with anyone. When she's out of candies, she's out of happiness too. What is the purpose of life if there are no yummies? But I know how to bring sweet optimism back to my friend. I've got a big and delicious gummy bear. Put gummy bears into two separate containers. Let there be a bit more in one container than in the other. Cover a bear-shaped silicone mold with vegetable oil so that you can easily take out gummy bears when they are ready. Put the bowl with the bigger amount of bears into a microwave. Melt the candies. Pour the liquid jelly into the mold up to the halfway point. Now use the gummy bears from the second bowl. Put them on top of the liquid jelly and cover them with one more layer of melted jelly mass. Fill the mold up to the top. Remove the bears from the molds when they harden. You cannot just smell and chew on this bear. You can also stretch it in all directions. Belle loves my sweet, squishy bear right away. Of course, she begs me to share it with her, but I am not giving it away that easy. Nevertheless, I finally share the squishy bear with my friend. She is going to eat it immediately. Don't hurry up. Take the time to enjoy stretching it. Belle has a whole arsenal of stress relievers, but nothing makes her happy anymore. Besides, her friend thinks she can amaze her with regular slime. It can stretch out. So what? It is slime. It surely can. It's so boring. But all of a sudden, my friend puts the stress ball into her mouth. Now it's getting interesting. Put chewy candies into a bowl and melt them in a microwave. Add powdered sugar and mix it thoroughly. Add sprinkles to the slime you've got and knead it. This slime is not only edible, it is also delicious. We had fun and a snack. We will definitely need weight reducing food after this stress relieving food. Do you want a sweet pomegranate? And what about a stretchy sweet pomegranate? Cut a pomegranate in half. Cut out the middle. Scoop it out. We've got two empty halves. Melt gummy candies of dark red color in the microwave. Add coloring and mix it with the starch and the powdered sugar. Knead the slime. Add red raspberry drops. Sprinkle the pomegranate half with the starch and put in the slime. Cover it with the other half. Open the pomegranate to find the sweet slime inside. You won't have to struggle with the tiny seeds. Just stretch the pomegranate slime and enjoy the sweet taste. I take my favorite EOS balm and my friend shifts a mirror closer to me. I don't need it. I'm not going to apply this EOS on my lips. Roll up the slime made out of gummies, starch, and confectionery sugar. Spread oil over the EOS top. Put in the slime ball. Twist tight to close the container. Open it up. Wow! The slime's now shaped exactly like the EOS lip balm. Peel off the excess. It's the amazing slime you can stretch, tear into pieces, and eat. Your friend doesn't quite understand how it's possible. This EOS balm can't moisturize your lips, but it provides good exercise for your finger dexterity instead. My friend likes pranking me with slimes instead of food. This time, I'll prank her with edible slime. Put chewy Frutella candies in a bowl. Melt them in the microwave. 
Add the confectioner's sugar and the starch in the usual 2 to 1 proportion. Mix the rubber-like mass. Put it in a jar. Decorate it with sprinkles and edible glitter. Keep in mind that this slime can dry in a few minutes, so be quick to prank your friend until it hardens. My friend plays with her slime, showing me how it can stretch thin, turning semi-transparent. It certainly can, as it's made out of hair gel, glue, and thickener. I take my slime out of the jar, but instead of stretching it, I'm going to eat it. She looks suspicious. Her slime is not edible, but mine is flavored with frutella and has a gorgeous smell. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button and click the bell to be among the first to get new prank ideas.